I'm going to attempt a max difficulty hell dive, but do it with zero kills and extract. This was the ultimate Helldivers 2 challenge, a true test of game knowledge and stealth ability never before seen. I knew it would be difficult, but even I couldn't quite predict the painstaking journey this challenge was about to take me on. And you'll see why, but let's throw it back to where my adventure began, aboard my ship, the SES Paragon of Peace. Where to start my admittedly dumb challenge, I first began my search for the most optimal gear to use. I figured there would be three main objectives I needed to complete in order to have success with this challenge. First, I needed to find the ideal loadout. Obviously, I couldn't kill anything, so my options with weapons and stratagems would be limited. Then, I needed to pick a faction to play against. Obviously, there's only the Terminids and the Automatons at the moment, but I really needed to pick the right one in order for this to be possible. Lastly, I needed a mission type and a strategy. I knew figuring all these things out would take some trial and error, but we had to start somewhere, so this first loadout was all theory crafting. And if you know anything about me, that's probably not a good thing. I decided to go with stun grenades and scout armor so that enemies could detect me from less range. Then, for my faction, I figured bugs would be easier. Every sector in the galaxy must be purged of the alien menace. Sir, so, yes, sir! I knew I'd be swarmed pretty much at all times, but I thought that would be true for both bugs and bots, so I figured at least against bugs, nobody would be shooting back at me, and running away might be a bit easier. So, I went with a launch ICBM mission, and for my stratagems, I went with the orbital EMS strike, eagle smoke strike, and orbital smoke strike. Then I opted for the jump pack instead of the personal shield generator, as against bugs, I figured movement would be key to survival. My plan? Well, there wasn't much of one, but I knew I wanted to play stealthily. I wanted to crouch up to objectives, get them done, then sneak away, all without the bugs suspecting a thing. And if they did find me, I'd use my stun grenades, jetpack, and stratagems to run away and sneak back up again. So this was it, my first attempt. But almost immediately, I realized there were bugs on the objective. That's, uh, that's a lot of enemies on the objective. But maybe it's doable. So at this point, my original plan is already shot. There is no way I'm going to sneak up to this objective. But on the bright side, I bring a key skill to the table. I grew up a COD Zombies player. So being the COD Zombies savant I am, the new plan was to train them around the objective, lead them away, use the smokes to disappear, then hit the objective when they were gone. The plan wasn't going too bad. I had actually managed to lead most of them away from the objective. Or so I thought. Why are you here? Alright, this might be a play here. Oh, this is gonna be a lot harder than we thought. And there it is, my first death. But we've got five lives for a reason. What if we stun them all? Oh my god, it stunned me too. Ah, another death. That's okay, I'll just drop back in and... No. Well, that is not good. I had killed an enemy, effectively instantly ending my run. Attempt one was a fail. Completing a max difficulty hell dive with zero kills wasn't going to be easy, but I was still confident in my plan. I just had to build on what I'd learned from each game, and eventually I'd find my ideal loadout, faction, and mission. It was all trial and error. Here we go, the second attempt. Yet again, I decided to stick with the bugs. This time I swapped to a retrieve data mission because the map looked good and it only had three objectives. I also decided to switch up the stratagems. All right, we're definitely going back to localization booster. These EMS strikes are like, they're okay, but they don't do the job. Nothing does the job. We gotta kill things, but we can't. I think maybe shield generator is, is definitely better than maybe EMS mortar sentry. Ooh, maybe that's cracked. Okay, I like it. And then maybe it's just an eagle smoke strike and an orbital smoke strike angle. Let's try it. Oh boy. I was excited to get the second attempt going. I felt good about my stratagem choices, so I dropped in and called them down right away. But of course, this random bug decided to get curious about what just flew down from the sky. What are you doing? What is that guy doing? Bro, I just want my stuff. Can you go away? Then he looked at me, and I looked back at him. It was at this moment, staring into his eyes, that I thought, Is this even possible? What am I doing this for? Am I wasting my time? Go touch grass! You will never complete this challenge. Oh shit, he's calling his friends. The stealth plan was once again thrown out the window, and instead, the second annual running of the bugs had begun. Let's just run to the objective at this point. Hunters are gonna absolutely screw me. Oh great. That's a battle titan. That's good. I think we need the EMS mortar right about now. Oh, 
Awesome. Okay. Oh my god. Wait a minute. They're kind of like away from the terminal. How is there another bug breach? Aren't all the bugs in the universe here? Oh great. Awesome. Why not? Just three Bile Titans. Oh. Clearly, things were not going well. The bug that stared into my soul was still taunting me in my head, and I was still at stage one on almost every front. The best loadout was still up in the air, the bugs weren't working out, and the strats, well, they didn't really exist yet. So I knew I had to switch something up. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a unique angle here. We're gonna try a blitz mission, because killing bug holes doesn't count as getting kills, I don't believe. So as long as we're precise with the grenades, I can pull it off. Since it was so difficult to even turn on the objective terminals, why not skip that part altogether? If my only objective would be to close bug holes, it'd be a lot easier. At least this way I could stay on the move at all times and even close them from a distance if I could land my throws. The only issue is that I really had no confirmation that killing bug holes would or would not count towards the final kill count of the game. So if I had actually managed to complete one of these missions, it could all just be for naught. We'd have to see. I knew this probably wouldn't work out, but it's worth a shot. Okay, this one's all about speed. They're gonna know where we are. So we're going stamina, we're going EMS mortar, smoke strikes, and orbital EMS, I guess. No, we'll take a jetpack. We're all about movement on this one. I think we can pull this off. Okay, and we don't need this one anymore then. All right. All right, we're changing up the strat. Let's see if we can pull this off. So after changing up my loadout to match the mission type and strategy, which was basically just train them around like a COD Zombies Pro and throw grenades into the holes, I dropped right in and got to work. All right, now we just gotta find bug holes. It was surprisingly quiet. The ambience was only filled with the faint snarls and growls from hidden bugs. But finally, after a bit of a hike, I approached my first nest. This would be a pivotal moment in this mission. Would it even be possible to take down the nest without killing any bugs? I was about to find out. Rival at the bug holes. Looks like there's five here. Bug at 10 That's one down. Okay, here we need EMS mortar. Okay, awesome. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna toss this. We're gonna like kite them away here. They're gonna kill my sentry really quick. It is what it is. Bang. Maybe the end for us here. Oh my god, look how many we stunned though. Get away. If that were to kill one, I would be so sad. Oh my god! Why can't I move? I love it. I love not being able to move. There was my first death of the mission, but only after taking down some bug holes. This was definitely doable. What is this spawn? No! Oh man. Unless that happens. Like my first attempt, I had accidentally landed on a bug when respawning, but that could happen on any mission, so I decided to run it back. Same mission type, same planet, same loadout. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh my god, and there's flyers. Awesome. That's great. That's like the last thing we actually wanted. Okay, Eric, I can already tell this one this one shot. Get off of me, man. Hunters have got to be the most annoying bastards in this game. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Nice. I'm glad I'm slowed again. Don't hit me. Don't slow me, please. Cool. I'm glad every every time I get hit by one of those, it's just a guaranteed slow. Okay, going well. Nope, there's guys camping in the hole. So we can't kill those. Great. Stop. Oh my god, I killed one. Dude. You gotta be kidding me, man. So, again, I had accidentally killed a bug. Although discouraging, I believe we found our ideal mission type, which was one step closer to helping me find out if the bugs were truly easier than the automatons. But to really make a decision on which faction was easiest, it dawned on me. I would have to bear the automaton front lines, even if I didn't want to. Alright, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for automatons. The biggest issue with the Blitz missions is that the grenade just can't hit another enemy. I had pretty much selected the same loadout, but instead went with a shield generator for obvious reasons. 
But I think it's possible if we're careful with how we throw the grenades. Oh my god. That's enemy artillery. Alright, got it. Just give me my shield generator and let me run for it. We're going for it. We're going in. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see where the spawn puts us. Maybe we can land on the fabricator. Oh, we can, we can, we can. Dang. Okay, maybe we do it again. Nope, just spawn me in the middle of nowhere, why don't you? Just don't rocket me immediately, bro. Why are these guys pre-firing at me? What is this, CSGO? This is not cool. What are these spawns, bruh? Oh my god, we got it. Okay, one died, but I don't know if that'll count as my kill. We'll have to see at the end. I'm gonna play it out. Okay, looks like big base over here. We're going in. Oh my god, cannon. Oh no. Oh, get up. I missed. Got it. Don't cannon me, please. Please relax. Great. Oh my god. I think the smoke just blew that up. It's so doable, it's so doable, it's so doable. It is so doable. 507, come on! Okay, we're gonna kill this and run for the hills. Run. Run, we got one more life. Go, go, go. They don't see me yet, they don't see me yet, they don't see me yet, they don't see me yet. He sees me, he sees me, he for sure sees me. Don't care, don't care. I missed. Got it. No way. Great. Why did I take impacts? Man, why did I take impacts? Despite the large number of deaths, this was the closest I had ever been to completing the mission. Still, I wasn't even near the point of extracting. But I had decided it. Blitz missions against automatons were 100% our best option. Now, it was up to finding our best loadout. But an idea just popped into my head. Maybe the orbital rail cannon, like to take something out from far, but... I mean, it's worth a try. I don't, I think it'll target. Let's, let's try it. We're going to try it. That's right. I'd go for the orbital rail cannon strike. I hadn't even thought about taking anything offensive, but I remembered that these things can target automaton fabricators and could score me some takedowns from a distance. It was risky though, because if I screwed up my throw, the rail cannon would hit an enemy and end my run. But I figured, was it really more risky than a grenade? Probably not. So I dropped down straight to Malevolon Creek. Oh, it does. Hang on. The orbital rail cannon was working. If this run goes well, this could be it. Stop it. Stop being an asshole. Dodge and weave, boys. Dodge and weave. We only need six, though. We can do this. Can these guys, like, fuck off, though? Like, seriously. Kobe! What a throw. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Kill a bot, but I don't I don't think that counts as a kill for me. I think that counts as a kill for the fabricator. We'll see what the end of the stats look like. This might be it, boys. Another beauty? Uh-oh. That had to hit. Bang. Oh my god. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. I'm gonna just go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna get blown up right now. Yep, there we go. Okay, we got the fabricator though. Give me all this garbage. Dude, what is that? Bitch, we're four to six with four lives. This is looking good. Yes. Okay. Is that one right there? It is. There is a fabricator in there, guys. Do we go for that one? I think we do. I think we just try to end this thing. That looks like it's in, a, it's in a good spot for me. Come on. That was a beautiful throw. What? That was a beautiful throw again. Oh my god. We might actually do it. Oh hey. Uranium. Okay, now I think we just waste time. We find a good bush and we camp. Or a nice rock or something. Maybe this right here. Okay, all we gotta do now... Just wait six minutes. 
This mission was going perfectly. I had four lives left and all I had to do was call the extraction. I had actually decided I wouldn't even call it myself. Instead, I'd let the timer run out because when that happens, the shuttle will come automatically no matter where the players are on the map. So this way I could avoid starting an extract and spawning enemies on me. As I sat here in this bush, I thought it was a foolproof plan. I had completed every objective and would soon be done with the challenge in much shorter time than I thought. But then... All right, this is pretty chill. Wait. No. Dude. Oh my god. No. 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 You can't make this up. Dude. Why? I had it in the bag. Why? Why? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? That's a spirit breaker right there. What in the world? <laughs> Why? Ah. <sighs> well, I guess we go again. Ah. <sighs> Yes, this is not a joke. I got up to go to the bathroom, tabbed out for two seconds to respond to a message, and it crashed my game. But I was sure I was going to complete it on that mission, so I think in all fairness, we can say challenge complete. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. That's a joke, of course I don't have a 2015 COD outro. And, of course, I do plan to complete this challenge. Despite how frustrating that crash is, I am now more determined than ever. And at least we got something out of that game. Our objectives were very much on the right track. The loadout was near perfect, the automatons were definitely easier than the bugs, and the long-range strategy was working, and it didn't cost me lives. The only issue about this particular crash is that that game was going very well, almost perfectly if it wasn't for one death. And that's not just because my loadout and strategy. Sure, those definitely made it easier, but things have to go well on the game's end. I have to get pretty lucky. The map has to be good, the place I drop has to have no enemies, and the mission is also random, so sometimes it'll want you to take down 15 fabricators, and sometimes it'll only want 6. The point is, I needed the perfect storm to complete this challenge. So at this point, it was all up to just playing and hoping we hit. Along the way, we'd refine our loadout and strategy even more. So despite the very discouraging crash, we were not giving up. Not even close. No! What in the world? Maybe it's not the play. Maybe I call it. I think I'm gonna call it, guys. Because if I die, I want to be able to have, like, stratagems. What the? That's fun. Okay, never mind. We're not calling it. We're not calling it. This is the plan. This is the OG plan. Can I just chill? Can I just chill? Let me chill. Let me chill. Please let me chill. After many, many deaths and fails, I had lost count of what attempt I was on. Maybe it was 11 or 12, but that didn't matter anymore because this was it. The moment we've been waiting for this entire time. I had never come this far before. Hell, I had never even seen the extraction shuttle yet, so this was a big moment. As I ran around in circles waiting for the two minute shuttle timer, I realized I had made one crucial mistake. I had forgotten that once the Super Destroyer leaves, I would no longer have the ability to respawn. So the two lives I had were gone. I didn't even have my shield backpack anymore and I couldn't call resupplies. All I had was one life and no stims. I know where stims are, I just gotta go, I just gotta get to them. Please, 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 please. Hurry up! No, 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 no! 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 You motherfucker! I can't deal with this, dude. I, I don't think I could do the extract against the automatons. I don't. I just don't think it's gonna happen. So close. Literally, the shuttle would have landed in less than two seconds, and all I had to do was stay alive. I had even picked up stims the moment before I died. If I had gotten one of those off, I probably would have made it. 
But even though I was raging, I still knew this meant we were close. We'd already had the easier faction picked for a long time, and now throughout the many, many games, we'd also locked in on the optimal strategy and loadout. If you hadn't noticed, I had picked up the Quasar Cannon. At the time of attempting this challenge, this stratagem was actually pretty new, so it was overlooked throughout my early attempts. But once I remembered it existed, it was an easy replacement for the Rail Cannon, which obviously wasn't working out anymore. Then, of course, my strategy for the last game was near perfect, and now I knew I would have to call the Extraction Shuttle myself if I wanted a chance. So with my new knowledge gained, I jumped in for one last ride. Because I knew this attempt was the one. I'm popping it right now. I don't give a fuck. Four minutes! Oh my god! Dude, what? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're out of stems. Please don't get injured, please don't get injured, please don't get injured. <laughs> so fun! So fun! Okay, we got unlucky with the extraction timer, and I may have been losing my mind a bit, but how about this one? This attempt was the one. This might actually be my last attempt for the night, though. What is fucking shooting? Oh, somehow he turned around. Just one more, one more, one more. Even if it's four minutes, I think I should be fine. If I can get this done with five lives. I'm getting excited, but I don't know. I don't know. I've been fucked over like 80 times so far. Probably gonna get fucked right now. Just get it off. Yes! Fuck off. Bitches. Two minutes. Two minutes! Two minute extract. It's so doable. Can I do this deathless, bro? Wait, <laughs> it didn't even get shot, it just went away! What a garbage stratagem! This little fucker's gonna turn the corner, running full speed at me. There he is. Little bastard. I think it's better if we stay on top of this dude. Oh, awesome. Maybe I can get up here? And just like, relax for a bit? Oh my god, I did. Oh my god! <laughs> It's looking doable, guys. It's looking doable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're gonna kill themselves for that. You clown. Oh my. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This was it. 16 seconds till the shuttle arrives. Four lives to spare. If I couldn't do it here, let's be honest, I could never do it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Where's my shuttle? Down to three. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous at this point. It's fine. It's all good. Just land next to the shuttle and we're good to go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get away. 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 Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up, fucker. No! Dude! Don't tell me, don't tell me this is about to happen. Okay, a beautiful landing. And now we've gone from 5 to 2 in a matter of 40 seconds. Now I was seriously nervous. Go, 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 go. Get there, get there, get there. Let's fucking go! Yes! Yes! That's all I got in me for a celebration. This took too goddamn long. Jesus Christ. Thank God this is done. I accidentally fired a bullet at the end, but I don't care. As long as it says zero kills, it has been done. If this doesn't say zero kills, I don't know what to say. I killed nothing. Ah. <sighs> But just because I made it out, doesn't mean it was over. The final kill count had to read zero kills, and honestly, I was more nervous than the end of that attempt. Especially knowing this game is a bit glitchy at times, anything could have happened, but this was it. The moment of truth.
Zero kills! Let's go, dude. Wow, that's actually fucking awesome. <laughs> yes! Finally, it's done. Oh my god. What a fucking mission, dude. Holy shit. Bring it in. Bring it in, brother. Bring it in. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say, man. It's probably not even that impressive of a, an accomplishment there, but... As I bathed in the glory of, uh, wasting five hours of my life to complete one mission, I looked out into the stars wondering what my next challenge would be. Hopefully, nothing like this, because this was hell. But I kept reminding myself it was all worth it for that feeling in the end. Not the one of jumping in the ship, no. The one of finally going to bed at 4am and not opening this game for a couple of days. But if you could click that like and subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. And if you made it this far in the video, you are awesome. Until next time, I'll see you when I decide to open this game again. Thanks for watching, I seriously appreciate it. See ya.